and welcome back. In the back of uh, the seat of the car during a very long ride. Um, let's play some games. Let's play some I Spy. Now I've just taken along some picture books and coloring books for you to play with. What would you like to do? We'll play with games with mum. We'll, we'll be social. Watch the cars pass by on the road. She uses the cars to try to teach you some of the colors. Let's see if you've learned any. Is the car covered in snow? What color is that car? Well, that's a trick because obviously it's covered in snow. The snow is white, but the car is likely red, I'm guessing. Right, very good. The snow is white and the car is red. Yay! You're eating, a, um, you're eating the house of one of your parents' friends. You were told you buy your mother to be on your best behavior. Something is you ate has disagreed with you, and you now feel very sick. Well, we've only got one option, but we can um, either ignore it, um, throw it up and get it over with, call mom, or try to find the bathroom yourself. Well, call mom. Mum puts you off for a bit. You say you, um, you can't say you didn't try and warn her. Your stomach rumbles. Blah. You throw up all over, all over everything. Mum is very angry at herself, embarrassed. Oh, silly mum. You're still not very completely. Um, so it's, you're still not completely familiar with using the toilet. It's still quite fascinating to you. You've just finished and you've cleaned yourself like a big boy. Um. Let's, let's play with the toilet paper. Whoosh! You watch a long ribbon of paper spin and disappear into the bowl. Let's do it again. It's fun. Pull about 30 feet of toilet paper and flush it. It fills up all the way to the top with water and comes rushing out on the floor. As the water comes rushing out, Mum rushes in. Uh oh, we're in trouble. You stand there looking at the, your mother with index finger hooked around the bottom lip. QT routine doesn't seem to work. You send directly to her room. Well, we've got to get our physical up, so we're going to go with this as well. The phone rings while Daddy is ironing a shirt. He must um, leave the, you alone in the room with the iron. Um, no, we're, since our physical is quite low, I'm just going to play quietly. Your Daddy realizes that you're alone with the hot iron. Sorry, Dad realizes that. Um, you're alone with the hot iron. It calls you to him. You run... Uh-oh. You run to the room, throw the iron cord. The iron wobbles but remains upright. You've avoided getting hurt. So I'm guessing this scene, again, due to prior choices, um, <coughs> can uh, result in different outcomes and probably something unpleasant. Today is Dad's birthday. You'd like to make him breakfast. Um, we'll go extravagant, but we'll ask Mum for help. Mum won't let you do exactly what he wants to, but helps you make a not dad a nice breakfast. This makes him feel terrific. Dad must get his teeth fixed, and you must go with him to the dentist. Mum is busy at work, and Dad couldn't find a sitter. He's still in the waiting room for a very, very long time. Dad must run out and put money in the parking meter. He sits you on the floor, gives you a magazine to leaf, through, leaf through, and tells you to behave. Um... Let's tear some pages from the magazine. We'll, we'll be pretty like normal child. Uh, you walk over to Pearl magazines and stand and reach out for a Pearl and Pearl magazine. The coordination isn't terrific and you lift off the table. The cover tears off with a loud rip. A lady spies you from the corner of the and gives you a dirty look. What a bitch. <laughs> All below her okay, so I was going to do the raspberry but well, let's be smug. Let, let's uh, cutesy it up. What a little Romeo lady speaking. Come here, little doll. And we'll go. We'll, we'll be nice. Your social spear takes a wicked hop. They're all um, set to develop the charm and grace that can really get you places. Lady gives you a nice, pe uh, nice thick piece of chocolate. Yum. A group of parents closest friends have come over for dinner. You're fed early and put upstairs to entertain yourself. Oh, come on, guys. Let's go um, see what they're up to. You can't get downstairs. Mum put a special fence in front of the stairs. Might be fun to see what you can do upstairs. Your parents would normally not allow you to do. Uh, if you have to stay upstairs, you might as well have some fun, right? Um, let's turn the TV on loud. Uh-oh. 
Big mistake, your dad comes up and uses the loud voice. He let you to let you know you're bad. You're put back in your room until you go to sleep. It is the middle of the day. You get a very heavy feeling in your stomach. You think it might be time to go potty. And your mum is not in the ve uh, your mother's not in the immediate vicinity. Um we'll, we'll, mm, Can we go concerned to the bathroom? Or go panicky to the bathroom? The more you panic, the more you feel like it's about to come out. You rush and try to turn the knob on the bathroom door, but it feels slippery. Do you want to try? Uh, do you want to try yelling for your mother? Um, yeah, we will. This doesn't work. It only makes you more nervous, which makes you have to go to the bathroom even more. You try to turn the knob again. It doesn't work. We'll keep trying. You finally grasp the knob and enter the bathroom. The toilet looms up to you like a huge porcelain boat. Uh, or lift up the lid first. I mean, if we're going to poo, pooing our pants is not as bad as shitting you before over the floor. You really have your priorities in order. I can see you securing an upper management position in a large company at a very young age. Lid flips up without a problem. You def definitely remove your pants and underwear and socks in one smooth motion. You climb up on the ball and get your business done with. Uh, we'll call our mum. Uh, again, this is kind of a very traditional child thing. Showing up is what you accomplish is a healthy thing as long as you not don't... Do not overdo it and become pretentious. Your mum makes a big fuss over what you've accomplished. She asks you to wave goodbye to the beams, aka bowel movements. You've begun to master art of self-control. Congratulations. You're in a very large department store. Sorry, a large department store with your mother and her friend. It's so crowded that you can always see there's a forest of tall grown-up legs. Mother lets go of you so that she can feel the material of her dress. He wants to buy it. Everything is buzzing. Look, the toy department. Um, let's, well, let's go. Let's, let's go for it. It's a very impulsive choice. This was a very impulsive set of choices. Your desire to explore your surroundings is a sign of intelligence. But this intelligence is not tempered with desire for keeping yourself safe. As a result, you get separated from your mother and are lost. Uh, we'll stay in one spot. That's what you meant to do. Uh, a voice, uh, a loudspeaker, a voice over the loudspeaker announces, "There's a lost boy in the store. His name is Hey. That's your name. He's wearing blue jeans and a red shirt. Will anyone seeing him please report him to the security desk? Thank you." Again, we're waiting in one spot. That's what you meant to do. A man in a blue uniform finds you and reunites you with your mother. You're greatly relieved that your mother would not leave you in some place and forget about you. You behave for yourself for the rest of the day as a gesture of thanks. You walk into your bedroom, about to go to sleep. The dark shapes stare at you from every corner of the room. He lights cast eerie shadows in the walls. You've heard about the toad monster, sneaks into the little boy's rooms and hides in the bed. You can almost hear him, breathing now. Just like the story said. Ooh. Let's go look and let's go find him. If you're brave, why look? Would you still be so brave if I told you the toad monster has six eyes, bloody stumps for legs, and bites the faces of little boys? Well, maybe not so brave then. I mean, that, that's pretty extreme. Search in the bed and see shadows of toys and socks left under the bed. A stuffed animal's glassy eyes shines through the darkness. Everything is quiet. What was that? Only a noise from downstairs. The toad monster doesn't seem here to be here. Tonight, anyway. Ooh. We're almost, we're almost finished with all them, so we'll see if we can get a few more done. Uh, you're playing outside on a warm, sunny day. Let's, um, dig a hole. Ouch, you weren't paying attention. You dug, a, um, dug the point of the shovel right into your finger. A bright red, uh, sorry, a ring of bright red blood circles the cut in your finger. Whom do you go for help? You go to mummy, of course. Mummy makes everything better. I think mum is more tender than dad. She washes your cut carefully and doesn't mind that you cry a little when it stings. Since your tetanus shots are up to date, a bandage is all that's required to fix you up. There we go, we've just passed through infancy, yay! You pass through infancy, a brief... Sorry, a brief look at your life up to this time shows the following. Family life has been t positive. 
and nurture it. And as a result, you have begun to form a critical form the critical bonds that are important during this phase of life. Physically, you've not been a very healthy baby. We've had some problems. So, socially, during this life, has been nothing uh, much. Sorry. Physically, during this phase of life, nothing is really expected of you. After all, you're still much too young to know uh, to throw a successful cocktail party. And frankly, anyone who still dribbles on himself probably wouldn't make the ideal dinner guest. However, by now, there's some things you should have mastered this area. Your progress in this area shows you're the type of child who charms the lollipops of people. You've been the type of child that is huggable and gets his cheeks pinched by old ladies with bright red lipstick. Now regarding your emotional and personality development, you're not exactly the type of child who can be trusted to wash his hands before coming to the dinner table. There's a piece of cake sitting in the refrigerator and known chances are it'll be in your tummy by dinner. Your thoughtful characteristic really doesn't count for much in this module. Most children often find themselves at the mercy of their whims and impulses. You're allowed to be cranky now. People will tolerate it much better than when you're a teenager. Then your whining and carrying on will seem much more objectionable. One thing about your character that has been tendency to put people off is your aggressiveness. You're the type of baby that likes to pull on loose pieces of clothing, hair and any other bulbous fleshy objects that come within your reach. Oh, I wonder what that means. You're going to have to um, learn the meaning of make nice. That wraps your status up to the first module. I hope you like yourself. If not, you can fight it. Um, you can try to always try to improve yourself in the modules to come. There's plenty of time. Welcome to childhood. Practice your uh, practice yourself for heaven's sake, and little things, and then proceed to greater. And we'll wrap up here. It's a short episode, but there we go.